What's up guys, Aiden here, Aizelon Landscape, and welcome back to another video. Today in this video, we're back with Nick Carlson. A few weeks ago, we took a look at Truckmate. Now we're looking at Cartmate. The nice thing about Cartmate is it can be used with Truckmate and Mulchmate, which is why we're here. We're gonna actually show it being used with Mulchmate. But this thing has some of its own features. We're gonna take a look at them right here, right now. Let's check it out. So guys, this is Cartmate. Uh, as you saw in that last video a couple weeks ago, the truck mate was running rock right into this bad boy. Um, we also showed it sh uh, the rock getting poured into it through a skid loader. Um, it can be used in a multitude of fashions. You don't have to necessarily use a truck mate or a mulch mate or a skid loader. You can load it by hand if you want. That's the beauty of it. This is meant for anybody. Anybody that's got a lawnmower has the ability to run Cartmate. Okay, so to give you a real quick rundown, my thought process on this, and I really haven't told anybody this, was there's all these electric and gas powered wheelbarrows and carts and all these different sort of things. And the biggest problem that I had with all of them is A, it adds more maintenance, which makes my life harder. Uh, and B, they typically have these knobby tires on it because they have to get traction to go through wherever they're going. And it leaves ruts in people's yards. And well, being a landscaper, I did not like that. And so I thought, well, what do guys do between February and April? They mulch, bulk mulch, bulk mulch, bulk mulch. I thought, well, what aren't they using that you could use as a power source? And well, the mower. Yes. The mower is your power source, it's, it's your power plant. And so I thought, all right, well, take the mower that's sitting there doing nothing, put it to work, make it more valuable, give it a better ROI, and then just attach something to the front of it. And so we went to work on, you know, how's it gonna work? And how are we gonna make sure it articulates? Because it has to be able to do that. That is very important. It can go through any kind of terrain. Now, being that there's a short wheelbase from the front two tires, it really doesn't articulate a lot, but the little bit that it does, it's extremely important. And because it works so well, you don't even notice it when you're driving. You were driving earlier with nothing in it and uh, a crap ton in it. What'd you think? Uh, it handled the exact same. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's heavy. Um, it, it all depends on your power plant of how much this thing can really push around. Um, it's just like anything else. If you try to tow a trailer, that is is on the back of a 150 it's not going to tow as well as an f350 i mean it's just that's how this world works right and so you have to be mindful of that so let's go over some of the features of this bad boy you've already seen the articulating knuckle which i guess i can show you a little bit better from this angle of course she dumps that's pretty simple right but this articulating knuckle allows the unit to twist allows the whole unit to flip up which we're going to show you here in a minute but the heart and soul of the patent on all this and everything is this knuckle that knuckle is very, very important. Um, something else over here, Aiden, I'd like to show you. These tubes, these tubes are eighth inch steel and they are laser cut and a CNC bent. So it's just like a race car. All these bends are very important and as far as strength is concerned. These legs, these legs pivot, as other people have seen the videos and we'll show you in this one as well. These actually pivot in and how they do that is there is a shaft, six inch shaft that goes between here and here. From the bottom to the top and it gets welded on top it gets welded on the bottom down inside of here and then there's another piece of quarter inch steel on top of that to keep it square that's how that unit pivots and keeps it so strong and then we have this lower cage made of eighth inch steel and that is what helps it be able to pop a curb and not bend this rod that actually supports the lower end but adds no hardware adds no maintenance so that's a really nice feature um, Another cool feature is all this piping is pretty much the same stuff. So the repeatability is good, the consistency is there, and the strength is there. I mean, this, this system is super, super, super strong. Um, another cool feature, these tubs. These tubs can actually be detached via these small clevis pins inside here. No tools required, just pop these pins out here. And then this pin can pull out, and then we'll be coming out with a bunch of accessories so you can change your tub to a bigger tub, you can change it to a flat bed, it can change it to a bunch of different things that we're coming out with. So that's really, really neat stuff and it's gonna be really, really useful for you guys. So it's not just a one, one machine that does one thing, it's gonna do a multitude of different things. Uh, I have one question. Yeah. How does this thing mount to your mower? Okay, so back here, currently we're using the detach system. It's a really nice system. You've got three eighths inch carriage bolts 
holding on uh, quarter inch steel plates and then it's a simple trailer hitch style two inch receiver you want to detach it just pull that out pull this pin out and that's how you would remove it it's very quick and easy guys i'm going to go ahead and leave a link uh in the description to uh Dechatch's website if uh this unit becomes something you're interested in you will also need this to purchase separately for uh this unit correct? And, and yeah and so the reason we did it this way is not not every mower has this big bar on the front correct like the ferris's i don't think they do they don't and this unit is supposed to work with a sit down a stand on uh, I've got a guy right now that's putting on an ATV, so right. you know it's it's going on all kinds of different stuff. So um, the guys over at Detach, they're fantastic. Um, the, even if you have a system that they don't have yet, contact them, and they will be able to make you a system. They've been very easy to work with. So great people over there. Okay, so let's move up here to the front. So of course it dumps. Right, I did that a hundred times. <laughs> <laughs> Every, everybody was like, well, what does it dump? Well, of course it dumps. I thought that was the easy part. So let's talk about storage in your trailer. So this unit's over 10 foot long. Uh, you don't want to eat up all that trailer space, right? Sure. So it's pretty yeah. simple. The unit, it's not, I'm not going to say it's light. I'm not going to say it's heavy. It's, it's, it's there. not heavy. I it's, mean, it's not, it's not light, but it's, it's probably what, 50 pounds? All in, all done is one. Oh, I don't even feel that. I heavy. think it's like 120. It does it because of where the pivot points are and everything. Uh -huh. You're only feeling about half of that weight. So simply just grab it pick it up walk it in now you, if you notice in the videos I do this there's actually a spine on the back if you want to show that real quick right back here that spine is to keep this unit lined up so what I'm doing is I'm pushing it and I just twist and it falls right into place okay so that's one of those really cool little features take your pin so this pin lives here right just pull that out Pop in place, and now you're good to go. Yep. And so now when you're driving down the road, this thing can only twist that much. So it's going to keep it nice and stable. The wheels, can you mention the wheels folding? Yeah, yeah. So this is a great time to show you guys this. So the wheels, when they fold in, and let me just mention this. You can do this with this completely loaded down with 500 pounds. You simply have this pull, pull pin here, spring pull pin, pull that. Push that leg up, and then there you go. Now your unit is 32 inches wide at the widest point. Now, I have this on a 61 inch mower. Of course, uh, this mower doesn't fit through a small gate, but if you do have a smaller mower, it can. And also, the good thing about this is I think you would use this if you had a 32, you put the wheels in, they normally wouldn't go out, or is that right. just to get through the gates? So it's just to get through the gates typically. Um, I like the legs out because of stability reasons. Um, also, when you go to dump it, this does get in the way when you dump it. Sure. So you have to move them out of the way. Uh -huh. um, but ha having them out is the best way. And also, like some people are like, well, what if I just get like a tow behind trailer? Well, here's the premise behind the tow behind trailer. You, it's got a knuckle. It doesn't really, it's not really good. It, I always had them and they always broke. And they're only so wide. So if you take on any kind of terrain, it'll flip over. Mm -hmm. And so with this unit, you can't flip over because the legs are so far out that it's so stable. Oh, another feature while we're talking about this. These legs are designed with wise to not mess your stripes up. Mm. So you guys out there always wanting to you know, talk about stripes and not want to mess them up. These are these are in line with the inside of your rear wheels. So sure. you can take this down a yard and you, you won't even know you even used it. Nice. Um, I have one question. So if you purchase the unit with the smaller tub and say you don't have the bigger tubs available right away. Can they buy just the tub and yes. connect it to the machine? Yep, yep. So once the avail once the big tubs become available, uh, we just send it to you in the mail, and you just literally clip it on with these two clips right here, and everything else lines up. So this frame here will come with your new tub, and it just clips right in, and it falls right back into place awesome. like all the other ones. So basically, all it does is it sticks out a little further, and actually it makes it a little nicer and easier to dump. So it's a nice piece, but just keep in mind. The bigger tub's only really meant for the light material, like mulch. If you if you start loading this thing down with dirt and all that, and it's a bigger tub and it's more volume, it, you're going to exceed the weight of the of the mower or exceed the weight of the, the cart mate, so you have to be mindful of. The bigger tub's meant for lighter material. So outside of that, uh, things that I like to carry on with are firewood, um, tools, just around the yard. Like I'll throw a pressure washer in here and take off down the yard or do whatever I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So it, it, if it fits, it ships. So that's, that's the whole background of how Cartmate became what it was, what our thought processes were behind it, and uh, we we like it. We think it's going to be a good, good piece. Awesome.
right guys, I wanted to take a minute and stop the edit and mention something. If you've made it to this point in the video, you're a real trooper and you're in for a real treat now. So basically, I'm gonna give you the rundown and then I'm gonna put all the statistics about the race up on the screen. Anyways, Nick and I raced each other. I pushed a wheelbarrow and he pushed Cartmate. Now, I wanted to explain that, otherwise it would have been a ton of typing for me. That's easy, but now I'm gonna run inside and run through all the statistics, the feet, how long, tub-sized containers, and how you're really saving time with Cartmate. Let's get into it. Gentlemen, start your engines! <laughs> Hang on, he's coming. And he made it. Yep, that was easy. Oh, somebody's relaxing. Yes. How you feel, Aiden? Are you tired? Uh, yeah, that was a waste of time. <laughs> All right, guys, do you have any uh, last words? We just finished running the cart, mate. We got plenty of footage to show you guys. I'm sure you've already seen it, but uh, you have anything else you'd like to add? It's cold. It's really cold. No, uh, it's been a great day. And, uh, thank you for coming by. I hope everybody enjoys the footage. And, you know, if, if anybody has any interest in any of the products, let us know and go to multimateusa.com. That's all I have for you guys. With that, I'm Aiden from Maze Lawn Landscaping. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you on the next 